I'm about to share a principle with you that will absolutely change your life. And I promise you, if you stick with me till the end of this video, your life will be transformed in a way that you never knew was possible. Now, this is not something I just woke up one day and thought that sounded cool. And it's not just something that I read in a book. I did read it in a book called The Bible, but God used this principle to transform my life. And he taught me how to master my mind through the Holy Spirit. This is extremely powerful. Now, I wanna to talk to you about anxiety. If you've ever struggled with anxiety, Stop and think for a second, where does anxiety come from? Or maybe you're dealing with anxiety right now. I want you to stop and think, what are you anxious about? Where is the root of this anxiety coming from? Now, anxiety is not just about having too much on your plate or having too much work to do. Anxiety actually comes from procrastination. You're putting off things that you know you need to do because you don't feel like it, and that delay creates a stressful anxiety that can cripple you. When you don't take action, your mind starts to spiral. That leads to anxiety. And this is a vicious cycle that most people never even identify and it brings them torment for years. And anxiety is not just about somebody that lacks confidence. And confidence doesn't just come from standing in a mirror and shouting affirmations at yourself. Confidence comes from having a stack of undeniable proof that you can do something and that you know you can do something. And true confidence like that only comes from knowing your true identity in Christ. The identity doesn't come from what the world says about you. Your identity doesn't even come from what you say about yourself. The identity comes from the I am that I am in the Bible. Your identity comes from God. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead and the same spirit that was hovering above the waters in Genesis is the same spirit that lives within you. You have a new identity in Christ and you were a new creation in Christ when you receive the Holy Spirit. There is no condemnation for those that are within Christ Jesus. I'm not saying you're never gonna feel bad about things you've done in the past. I'm not saying that you're not gonna feel bad about sin. You should feel bad about sin. But know that conviction and condemnation are two different things. So stop procrastinating and stop letting fear and anxiety hold you back. Walk in true power today because you're not walking alone. You are walking in a new identity that is given to you through Jesus Christ. Now, when anxiety starts to overwhelm you, this can actually manifest physically, cause health issues, make you lose your hair, weight loss, heart palpitations. But here's the good news. You can renew your mind every day based on what the Word of God says, not on your emotions, not what the world says, but on what the Word of God says. And I'm not saying you knew your mind just to read the Bible like it's any other book. Don't read it like it's a fairy tale or a book filled with ancient myths. It's God's living Word, a book of instruction for your life. Quit reading what the Bible describes and apply what the Bible prescribes. I've heard so many people say, how do you like to read the Bible? I like to read it in the King James Version or the NIV or the NLT or the New King James. My answer is always the same. I like to read the Bible in the Holy Spirit. Are you reading the Bible with the Holy Spirit's guidance or are you just picking it up and reading through the paragraphs? Before you dive into scripture, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom because the Holy Spirit is who inspired the Bible, is all inspired by the Holy Spirit. So the author of the Bible, the author of the scripture, dwells with inside you. He will give you insight that you could have never known unless you pray and ask him for guidance. Let the Holy Spirit reveal what he wants you to understand. Yield to the Holy Spirit. Ask him to help you. Seek guidance from him. He is the best teacher. And I promise you, these words will come alive on this page like you could have never imagined. I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I live in a world filled with sunshine and rainbows. There are two things that actually happen every time that I open the Bible. Number one, I don't get very far without being confused and finding something I don't understand. And the other thing is, no matter if I read the Bible for 10 minutes or an hour, when I close the Bible, I realize just how much that I'm not like Jesus. But here's the amazing thing. You are saved from the get-go through Jesus, not because of what you've done, because of what he's done for you. But every day that you follow Jesus and yield to the Holy Spirit, he will sanctify you, making you more like Jesus every day that you follow and pursue him. Here's one thing I want you to start prescribing what the Bible says, and actually what Jesus said. Don't worry about the troubles of tomorrow because each day has enough worry and trouble of its own. So don't waste today's energy on tomorrow's problems. Focus on what God is calling you to do right now. Do you feel like you've got a mountain of tasks that you've been avoiding? Well, that's where anxiety comes from. Knowing there's something you need to do and you're putting it off. You're not doing it, you're procrastinating. This creates a cycle of stress, doubt, and fear, and this is an ongoing thing. And some people, unfortunately, never get out of this and they have to get on medication because they don't address the root of it. But you don't have to stay stuck in that cycle. Make a shift today. Start following God's word 
apply the principles in your life, and watch how your confidence grows as your new identity in Christ aligns you with God's will. Here's another truth. You're gonna get out of life what you believe God for. Yes, you need to gain knowledge and learn systems and implement things and work for it, but nothing is going to change unless you have faith in what God's word says. Hebrews tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So are you trusting God's promises or are you just going through the motions? Your mindset is truly the key to unlocking what God has in store for you. So I want to ask you to be honest with yourself today. Are you hoping that God will just show up and come through or are you truly believing it? If you're procrastinating or doubting or letting anxiety rule your life, it's time to take action. Faith without works is dead, as the book of James describes heavily. Stop letting anxiety keep you in a vicious cycle of procrastination. You have the spirit of victory living in you. It's time to start acting like it. And I want you to remember this illustration I'm about to give. You have a mountain of things to do, but instead of taking action, you let anxiety and fear build up. You avoid it. That only leads to more procrastination, more anxiety, and a heavier burden. This just keeps pushing you down and you have to fight so hard to undo these things just to get back to zero because now you're negative. But here's the thing, you, the more you do, the more you'll be able to do. Start with small, manageable steps and the mountain will become a molehill. You can break free from this and don't look at the mistakes of your past because just remember, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now right now, if you're feeling convicted, that's a good thing. Might not feel like a good thing, but that's from God. If you're feeling condemnation, that is not from God, and you need to pray against that right now. God offers you a peace, a fulfillment that truly surpasses all understanding. The devil wants you to stay stuck in this cycle and destroy your life. So if you truly want to change your life, you have to change your identity. Know who you are in Christ and start living like it. Renew your mind daily with the Word of God. Do not let anxiety and fear rule your life. Replace them with gratitude, faith, and anticipation for what God is going to do. It's impossible to live in fear and have anxiety when you're walking in faith and trusting God's promises. If you're still overwhelmed, I want you to take the first step today. Set aside time, one-on-one -on -one time with just you and God. Open your Bible and pray for the Holy Spirit to guide you. Preferably, I do it first thing in the morning. I give God my first and it sets a tone for my day. Start living in anticipation for God's word and for God's will to be done in your life. And if Bible study is something that you struggle with, I want you to watch this video as I break down a cheat code that I have found to fast track your biblical knowledge and also build a solid foundation for all of your future Bible study so you can truly live life to the full. Thank you for watching. I'll see you over there.